control the direction. Uh, so without further ado, uh, we're going to get started in three, two, one, go. And this game is a nightmare. Um, it's kind of nice that we start off with the amazing maze. Oh gosh, I'm already forgetting things. That's wonderful. Uh, <laughs> and that's because it's a solid 10 minutes of just pure nightmares. Uh, you might think, oh, this song sounds kind of like a bop. Oh, I like Fonzie Bear. He's a funny guy. What's not to love? Well, let's just say a couple minutes into this, you're just going to really, really hate yourself because it's the same song. It goes on for 10 minutes. Hopefully I had enough time. I didn't. Oh, no, I did. All right, whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Uh, Waka waka! Yeah, that's that's his trademark. I think it's up here. And by up here, I mean in the middle. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I do assure you that I am in the process of properly routing this um, amazing maze. Uh, I have all the screenshots ready. I'm going to be properly sorting them out so that anyone who wants to run this um, can... Uh, do so with the least amount of distress. Uh, I'm just gonna remember, I think it's over here. No, it's right where he is. We're gonna shoot the bone so that he goes that way instead. And there we go. All right, so a few things about this particular game is, um, or this mini game, I should say, is that these little doggy guys, um, they have an AI and it's designed basically to either follow you if you're close enough or follow the um, the presence, which is your bow tie in the actual present present. And yeah, you can, you can shoot a bone or maybe it's a wrench. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it definitely has a demonic aura to it, but I'll leave that to chat's uh, interpretations. Uh, but uh, yeah. They follow you, the bones will make them go somewhere else for a few seconds, and the hearts will just straight up paralyze them, because what is more damaging to a dog than someone's love? Um, hopefully that worked. It did not. I guess we'll just deke them out instead. Uh, let's see, yeah. They're all right there, so I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to make these guys go in this direction. There we go. So the estimate is um, a bit long in the tooth, to be uh, perfectly reasonable. Um, I expect to beat this in about 30 minutes. It's just that some things can go very, very wrong with this. Uh, for example, the space ride with Gonzo. Um, either I'll die a couple times or... Also... it to save Miss Piggy. Uh, there's a chance I won't die at all, or I'll die three times. Grumpasaurus has decided to not play nice and put us in a predicament where we either have color lies and game over. Uh, if the audio is cutting out, I apologize. That's... it's been... Shoot the bone! Uh... Is the run still happening, though? It cut off on my apology. Yes, yes. It's not a loose connection, it's just... USB. Um, if you can hear me now, it's it's purely because um, yeah, yeah, it yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a. The mic is fine. 
My motherboard is not. Uh, or it could be the Windows update. It's There's so many things that could have went wrong. I'm not sure. Um, give me a moment and I'll try... Uh, <laughs> I'll try resetting it. Um, it was doing very, very well for like 10 minutes before. Uh, Alright, just deke these guys out. Um, fun fact, if you can hear it, six people made this game in a period of a few months. That candy cane can hurt you when it's moving. Um, yeah, I do refuse to install the beta BIOS because it'll... If... Because I only have one flash. Alright, so we, we got him. I'm gonna do this, get out of here. Get those guys out of the way, come back in. Oh, yeah, there we go. No. Ah, oh, god dang it. Hit him. Damn it. <laughs> All right, come on. Uh, yeah, if you get hit, uh, your iframes will not allow you to grab gifts. Two of them. Okay, got it. All right, uh, this way. And then it's up here. It, it literally just started last week. No, oh, dang it. Okay, this has Pac Man controls. Alright, so yeah. Yeah, the, recently people with 3000 series CPUs was also getting the issue. Um, it's just not as widespread, and there's no rhyme or reason as to when it actually starts up. Yeah, it's a, it's a Pac-Man clone. That's exactly what it is. I'm gonna take that death. Well, all right. That strategic death did not work out as planned. Uh, all right, so we got to go all the way around on this one. Because I missed a very uh, small... Uh, very small opportunity. Alright, so we're in the last section at least. Uh, when Miss Piggy shows up, I will be able to reset the mic and hopefully that'll fix issues for the next uh, half of the run. Come on, come on. Get, go away, go away. Thank you. Uh, go down this way. Hopefully the Sunday doesn't hit me. We're good. Uh, yep, do that. Alright, and this one goes over here. Just try just trying to avoid that dog. Now we're gonna hit him with a banana, because that's the only thing that harms him. Uh, where is it? This way. And then I'm gonna go around him. Hopefully he doesn't go back up. Okay, he didn't. Don't recite the I, I got the only time I I can actually reset the mic is when uh, when Miss Piggy is talking to me. So unfortunately, that's when I'm doing it. This game was originally an Apple, really? No, I I had no idea about that. I know this was like one of the last things this company made, though. Go. Come out. Uh, I believe there's two more stages now. Yes, this is the second last stage. Make him go over here. The next one is down there. And by down there, I mean right up here. That's fine because I still had to do that. This goes here. Okay, and the 
there's that. And then this one goes up here. And then this, the key's up here. All right, are you hearing me, guys? Because I'm going to reset my mic if, I, if you can't. Uh, we hear you. Okay, I'm not going to touch it. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. So Kermit the Frog, this is two minutes of bliss because um, this is where we get most of our lives for the run. And this is also um, basically just pressing down. Uh, the whistles will get you your health back in 200 points. And the buoys will get you a ride. I believe there are five rides that are easily obtainable. Oh, great. I'm already hitting the waterfalls. That's great. All right. So you got to line these up just perfect. Otherwise, they could put you on a loop that you can't escape. Um, same with the logs. I don't know why, but that's just... The mic is a troll. All right. Um, but yeah. It's relatively quick paced, but um, I do have to concentrate a fair bit to not lose a huge amount of time like that. Anything else I could talk about in regards to the Muppets? Um, well, Jim Henson made them, but I guess we already know that. Uh, let's see. So yeah, um, if you ever played this game casually, I kind of... No, I, 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 I recommend it. Just be aware that you'll need to be... Uh, you'll need to farm lives here. Um, I would also say do it on an emulator, uh, so you don't have to worry about losing a, a ton of frustrated time to the Grumposaurus. So this is one of the lives I just don't bother with unless, you know, the log hits me. And it did. Uh, da -da -da -da. So we're about three quarters done this area now. Not much left. There's one more waterfall, I think. Yes. And then we go over here. There's the key. Oh, I, I see we got Statler and Waldorf over here. All right, so we got another key. Uh, next one is the race. There is a quick little setup for this. You just got to hit this way, go like this. There you go. Now you're lined up. Uh, for those interested in wanting to play this game, um, I have screenshots uh, where you can grab just about everything. All the strategic placements. Uh, because this is a lot easier than going making, you know, like, figure eights for about the first 40 seconds. Um, yeah, I'm really hoping to bring a lot of resources to this run so that it, so people give it some more love. Anyway, when we see the next flag, and it's count for a couple seconds, go back up, and that way you can dodge everything. That way you don't have to actually drive because it's got tank controls, but they have a they have a weird amount of lag to it. So like you have to push the button for I would say about a frame and a half. Alright, so now we're in the rubber bands. Uh, basically if you leave going down, you enter going down. And yeah, and you just vice versa. Um I will say, if you're playing on emulator, this is a lot worse, oddly enough. Um, if, you, if you do get the, um, uh, what do you call it, the, um, if you do get the uh, flow right, it's a bit of a breeze, um, but it's hard to concentrate on that at the same time. Alright, another one of these. For this one, this is the safe strat, and I'm using it not just to showcase it, but also because um, if that little, like, little box that keeps rising up and down, it, it'll, it'll twirl you right into a bunch of bombs and you'll be dead. So I'm not even going to risk it, um, because I'll, as, as fast as it is to, uh, die and re-go, um, 
I just don't want to risk it. Okay, so this one, you're supposed to line yourself up so you're right about here. And you just kind of want to stay in between the bomb and the oil spill. You'll see that I'm ra gradually rising up. So, yeah, I just got to re-sync myself. Ah. Um, oh god. Alright, whatever. Um, there we go. Like I said, you gotta fight with the controls in this game, especially the directionals. Um, oh, there we go. We're on the last spot. Alright, so this one is basically line yourself up with the bottom, and then zip. See the flag, stop accelerating, re-accelerate. And you, it's literally just letting go of the button for a split second, and then every now and then when you're having a hard time realigning things, which I am, let me just, let me just do that. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm having a hard time with this right now. This is great. Um, the other thing you do is basically just do this, and you can scroll through the whole thing. Um, I don't recommend it because it's pretty slow, but hey, we got our next key. All right. Uh, let me see. A lot of, a lot of good uh, computer um, talking going on right now. All right, so we're going to go to the space race, which is the absolute bane of my existence and that's because it's a it's a side-scrolling shmup that is incessantly slow um it in it takes about 12 minutes to complete and yeah it, it's got asteroids like uh controls except it's got the same um directional lag as um the uh as the car as the bumper cars um, there's also zero iframes, which means eventually we're going to get to a point where I can die within one split second. Uh, which really makes the hearts feel like it's they're, they're a lie. Um, it, it's just the worst. It, it's the worst. It's 12 minutes of pain. Um... I could go, I can either lose three lives, I could lose eight lives, um, on a particularly bad time, especially if you're playing this casually, um, or on an emulator, you'll lose 13, maybe all of your lives, um, it's just, it's just really hard. And basically how this game was set up, in case you're wondering why things are, oh, I shot the one up, that's wonderful. I mean, I should have enough lives, but that was a one-up. Um, the other one-ups here are chickens. I believe that's Gonzo's girlfriend. Which might explain why I'm making chicken sounds while I'm shooting. Pro probably not. But yeah, six people made this game. And essentially, um, one person was unified in making the art. The, the art assets and um, everyone else basically made their one of the rides for the, the, to themselves um, I believe there's there's also one dude who was making the music so that's why all the rides are all over the place and how they work like some have iframes some don't um, one of the things is uh, one of the places with iframes still allows you to grab items another one doesn't oh what luck I made it in here. Um, I still lost almost all my life, though. Oh, God. Yeah, this is where it really starts to hurt. All right. So, essentially, they'll shoot twice. And then... You'll have, um... You'll have the opportunity to, like, zoom by them and avoid getting shot. If you're lucky. Otherwise, um... You know, you're in for a world of hurt. I believe there's one up here... Nope. Alright. Yeah, there it is. There it is. We're gonna shoot this, and then we're gonna go in for this. There's one HP. Alright. Alright, so we're, we're somehow surviving. Um, I suggest going to the bottom. It ends up being a little bit easier to survive this. Um, okay, this guy is just... I have no control over this, apparently. Um, whoa, oh my god, this is rough. Okay, uh, ah, no, no, I sh- ah! <laughs> Dang it! 
There you go. And then I'll, yeah, and then like, you see how I was going up from the rocks? Um, if one of the, the dudes is shooting at me, and I'm in one of the, and I'm in one of those places where like there's extra rocks happening, um, I'll die again. It'll just happen. It'll just happen. Um, so yeah, lots of deaths are expected. I'm actually doing amazingly well. Um, also the teleport. Funny story. Um, depending on where you die in this uh, particular part, uh, that barrier would have been in a completely different area. I don't know what triggers it. I'm assuming there's uh, the potential for death warps in this. I just don't want to bother because, you know, you, you die enough. I don't want to. I don't really want to risk that biscuit, especially when things control as poorly as it is. Oh my god, I survived that. Um, I'm gonna take the health anyway. This is the one ride where um, health does not give you extra score. I assume they didn't want you to um, rack in too many lives. Uh, because... Oh god, no. Uh, because, um, yeah, shooting everything gets you points. So... Haha, you know, like... They do give you a lot of lives too, though, in this one. I think there's... One, two, three... I think there's four lives in total. That's enough if you're good at this particular game. Um, it's not good at all if you're not. Um, all right, so I'm gonna shoot that, shoot that. Um, I'm gonna try to squeeze through that. There should be a new fuel cell close by. I'm not gonna get it. Uh, there we go. There we go. Do you have anything beautiful to tell us? Um, well, um, did you know that the, uh, the sweat and milk of a hippo is pink? It's, it's like a fuchsia color. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful sweat. Uh, probably the most beautiful sweat on planet Earth, and I'm not one who likes sweat. You know, that's just me. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, speak down on anyone who does enjoy sweat. Um, I just know that from my perspective. Generally, I'm not big on sweat. Alright, come on, break this barrier. Oh, of course, so now we got a lot of stuff to worry about. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna die. Um, oh, and I shot the health. That's wonderful. The good thing is those satellites don't really move. So, unlike the tanks, the tanks will follow you a bit. And that's never fun. Um, as you can see, oh my god! So yeah, like, if I tap the button to make a directional, it's not gonna work. If I hold it down, it takes a, it takes a hot set. Oh no. It takes a hot second for it to register. Um, and that's very unfortunate. Okay, oh, oh, oh god, we gotta get this, we gotta get this. No, 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 okay, okay. We did it. Okay. Oh god, no! Okay, we're going up for that. Come on, go down! Alright, there we go, perfect. Oh gosh, I have, I have a MacBook picked up. Still plenty of games that don't. All right. Ah, see how there's like three health here. I wonder if that's like on purpose. Like they're like, you know what? This is gonna get rough. Cause there's a fourth one over here as well. You must think you're really hurting at this point. Okay, just barely made through that. Okay. Uh, eventually this cave is going to... The spawns are fixed. Everything is fixed unless you die. And in which case, it could change a little bit. Like, you'll see them, like... Maybe a, a quarter to a half a screen more than where they should be. Uh, I've, had, I've had health and lives... Uh, 
just show up inside the rock where I can't grab them. And it only happens for this ride. This is the only ride where things don't appear where they're supposed to. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just bizarre. Anyway, we're getting close to the boss. This is the boss. Um, you hurt him. Uh, in a very interesting way. So he's gonna have like these little gray eyeball things. Um, and you're gonna want to shoot those. Um, if you take too long, they shoot out at you instead. And... Yeah, it's... It's very bizarre. There we go, he's dead. Alright, so we just gotta stay around the mouth to get the key. And there you go! I... that is fine, guys. As long as you're enjoying your time, that's fine by me. Anyway, we're at Dr. Grump! Alright, we got 12 rides, which should be more than enough. Um, I did a strategic feather blow to uh, avoid getting hit. By that initial bat. This is the last area. This, up till last week, I thought had a soft lock. And then I, and then I clumsily remembered that uh, I can press select at any time uh, to. Oh gosh! All right, this this is actually a bad. This is a bad set. Um, so there's a few patterns you can get with this stage, and we're getting the one where it shoots all the meatballs at us. Um, it's 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 the more chaotic one. Uh, hopefully I can remember how the rest of it goes because I don't really want to die too often But again going back to where I was saying earlier um, I used to think until last week there was a soft lock here with the Grumposaurus And then I remembered oh, yeah I could just hit select and nope myself out and I think that was done on purpose uh, Because they were expecting that to happen And so they actually put the select to go back to the selection screen um so yeah, this one's a little more chaotic. Expect a few deaths here. Um, time is actually going very well. Uh, we definitely passed the world record mark, uh, but we're we're still we're still we're still within. Uh... Oh gosh, of course that hit me. Um, we're still within. Uh, the... Oh god, yeah. See, like the meatballs are everywhere now. This doesn't usually happen. This is only if if um, you get a more chaotic seed. I don't know what I don't know what governs it. I don't know if there's a global timer, or what, or if there's like a timer for the uh, thing. If it's score based, I gotta do some more. I gotta do some more work on figuring that that out. Okay, so yeah, just to avoid the death, I'm gonna do that. Oh gosh, if I got hit by that meatball, no! Ah! Oh! oh gosh, yes. It is, it is Wednesday, my dudes. Alright, so yeah. Um, alright, so now we're... Alright, we're still doing really well. This is still fourth place time. Um, it's funny because uh, last night before I went to bed, I did a four minute PB. Oh god, I forgot about the soft lock. Ah, did I do it? Yes, I did it. Oh my god, okay. It's not a soft block. I keep saying it though because that's what I remember it as. But yeah, if you don't put yourself right there specifically, you'll um, you'll hit the ground, you'll die, and then he'll close the gap, and then you'll just won't be able to get any further unless you exit out. Uh, if you game over, there are no continues, and that's very frustrating for people who aren't aware that you can press select to get out. Oh my God. Um, and also, the only time you can actually hit Dr. Grump is uh, when the heart's on the way down. Also, fun story. You can still die. Um, and it changes the music. Anyway, time ends when the music changes. That is 2913. That is still a very respectable time. Um, I was expecting to beat this 30 t at 32. Um, so yeah, we saved Miss Piggy, uh, we did our thing, um, yeah, stay tuned for next year when I get the world record and, uh, retire this game from my memories. Alright, so this is your ending screen, basically Miss Piggy's like, oh, thank you, you saved me, but it took you long enough, and I'm like, oh, okay, thanks, like, 
I went through hell and back. This was Kermit's Inferno, but no, no, it's fine. We saved our Beatrice and we're good. And here's the lovely people who've made the game. That's it for me for now, but stay tuned for more lovely games. And yeah, enjoy guys. That's it for me. Take care.